part of our Film Courage Interactive, which will be tomorrow night at the Downtown Independent. Now, the film is really 20 years in the making. Can you tell us about that? What, why so long? Well, yeah, that's a good, well, I don't know, really, other than, you know, uh, I came up with the idea, um, you know, back in the 80s, and I, it, was, it was one of those odd things where I was driving back from California, and I sort of came up with the idea when I was going through the mountains of Tennessee, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning, I was like, wow, what if I was to go off this cliff and some mountain man found me, and, and, and that sort of was sort of the, 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 sort of the kernel for the idea. And I went back and started writing it with my friend, my writing partner, Mark Kimray. And so he and I came up with, uh, you know, within six months we had a full draft. And then we kept tinkering with it and changing it. And uh, I decided to go out and start raising money. Well, at that point, I had never really made a film. I had made short films and I had never done a feature film. I hadn't had done killer or roadkill, you know. So I was still out there trying to, you know, make something happen. And I was trying to get real money. I thought, well, if I'm going to make my first film, I got to have at least you know a million dollars. You know, so I was just that naive to think that, you know, to make your first film, you got to have you know the real money. You know, because I was sitting there and do the budgets. So I'd worked on real films. Uh, my background was special effects makeup. I'd worked on you know big budgeted films. So I knew all the equipment it took to make a movie, and I thought well, that's what I needed. But um, I worked uh, on Evil Dead 2 with Sam Raimi, and Sam said, "You don't need all this." Just get your camera and shoot a movie. <laughs> so I, after after that, you know, so that was that was like that ten year period of trying to find a million dollars to do cold storage. And you know, after I met with Sam and Sam said, just grab a camera and start making a movie. And, and that's when it kind of turned around. I was like, you know, he's right. I don't need you know a million dollars to make a movie. So I went out deliberately wrote a script with my writing partner Mark that we could shoot for like ten thousand dollars. And I grabbed my Super 8 camera and I ran out and that's how I came up with Killer and we shot Killer and then. And then, then I kind of started stepping up with each one of them, and then eventually, 20 years of, like, has gone by, and I pulled it off the shelf and dusted it off and said, now's the time to make this movie. Uh, and uh, so that's sort of how it came about. It was a learning process. You can't start out with stars in your eyes. you got to start out a little smaller and then kind of work your way up. And, and I'm still trying to work my way up.